This year's Gower Festival runs from July the 1st to the 13th. Amazingly, it's my sixth year as artistic director and, and I'm actually more excited about this, this year than other years for some reason. We have an amazing lineup of artists. The London Concord Ensemble coming, who will be artists in residence and play the first three concerts. Both our patrons are taking part this year. Lee Williams, the wonderful pianist, even if he is from North Wales, and I'm from South Wales, uh, will be giving a fantastic recital at Newton Church on the, on the first Saturday of the festival. I'm very excited about us using a venue for the first time, the Glyn Vivian Art Gallery. It's the most wonderful space and we'll have a performance there of the Mozart Clarinet Quintet. It's, it's a wonderful setting, limited capacity of about 140 people, so we're going to have promenaders upstairs where you can stand, listen to the concert, have a great viewing and, and where the sound is absolutely great upstairs. And, and one reason to hold this concert there is it's the 95th anniversary of the birthday of, of Glenis Coor, the great Swansea artist. So it'll be a very special evening. Llanrydion is the most wonderful setting for quartet concerts. So we have the amazing Carducci Quartet coming to play for us again. They played two years ago. And they will do a world premiere of, of a new quartet by Carl Jenkins, as well as one of the great Beethoven quartets. So that will be quite a memorable concert. We have a special children's concert for youth, which will be in Gowerton School. Um, this will be include choirs from the whole area, and it'll be a lunchtime concert, which will be exciting. And we have another lunchtime concert with two gold star winners from, from London, um, the harpist Oliver Vass and the sax player Hugh Wiggins. It's an unusual combination having harp and sax, but it's the most amazing program they've chosen uh, and very accessible and it will be in the beautiful Klein Chapel, which is seldom used um, and it'll be, I think, a very, very special concert and that's also a lunchtime concert. I'm very excited about inviting the last winner of the Menuhin competition um, he was the youngest ever first prize winner, he's just 11 years old from Australia, an amazing talent and he's doing a major European tour where he'll have concerts in Harrogate Festival, Cheltenham Festival, London, France, Switzerland and Norway and we will get him for his very first concert on the tour on July the 4th. Uh, he's an amazing talent, if you're curious can a lemon roll really play wonderfully? Have a look at the menuincompetition.org website and you'll see his performance from last year's competition in Geneva, where not, he not only performs, but he directs a performance of Vivaldi Four Seasons, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, you'll be so excited, and if you hear him on this, I, you'll guarantee you'll want to come to the concert on July 4th in Newton Church. We have the amazing pianist Ji Liu from China coming. He's a big favourite of the Gao Festival audience. He's going to do a programme entitled Fire and Earth, which is his new CD. Uh, he's, you might think, well, why do I know the name? Because virtually he's on Classic FM every day. He's, he's a wonderful pianist. And he, together with Kay Williams, will be giving piano recitals as part of the festival. The, the Gao Festival is renowned for wonderful churches and unique settings all over the Gower. But this year, for the first time, our last concert will be in St. Mary's Church in Swansea, which we've never used. It'll celebrate the 75th birthday of Carl Jenkins, our patron. It will be the really most amazing concert because it will be a very big, large-scale concert, which the Gower is not necessarily renowned for. It'll in feature his, many of his friends are coming to, to perform, it'll have the Cor Cardiv, the Chamber Orchestra of Wales, and I'm sure this concert will, will sell out. He's very excited about it himself. He's doing birthday concerts all over, not just this country, he's actually before, he's having a birthday concert in Carnegie Hall next week in New York. Um, he's very, very excited about this concert. It will be a one-off, it'll be a unique program, specially chosen for his roots, where he was born in Penclough, 
Um, it'll be an exciting program, different. He's going to compose something new just for us, especially for this concert. And it will be, I think, a spectacular ending to the Gower Festival on July the 13th on Saturday evening. Last year we, we, we had a success rate of 95% capacity audience, which is absolutely amazing for our festival. It, it's one reason why the Gower Festival is so successful, are the unseen heroes that run the event behind the scenes. This is 15 members of a committee, they do the most amazing job, they're passionate about the event, they care about it, it's totally volunteer, and they make it the success that we are. The, the Gower Festival is a unique festival. It's one of the few or only that, that has really a really different concert every night. It has the most beautiful churches on Gower. They are all individual in acoustics, in, in capacities. E everyone becomes a different concert by, by sheer virtue of, of where the, the churches are. I mean, to come out in a concert like in Llangeneth and have a glass of wine in the interval and look out and see the sunset of this view of, of the bay from the church is, is absolutely magical. You wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world. Many of the artists in, in the festival like to come back here because they love performing here. There's such a warmth, a Welsh hoil for, for the for the performers, they love the audience to play to, they love to stay and in fact the, the London Concord Ensemble that are coming will stay for three to four days because they want to not just play concerts, they want to enjoy the gower, they want to take some beautiful walks and just enjoy the whole area. We can bring international artists and, and have a standard of excellence which is on par with any festival in the UK. In fact, recently we were compared with Glyndebourne. We, we have one very unusual concert, it's not really a concert, uh, which I'm quite excited about. It, it's an author who's actually born in Swansea, Kathy Ace. She lives in Canada, she's lived there many years, she sold hundreds of thousands of books. She's slightly known as a Agatha Christie of Canada, but she's actually from Swansea. And her latest book is, is, is based on a murder mystery in, and it's all based around the worm's head. So we're going to have one event, it's going to be entitled Cruelty and Crime, where she's going to read from this book at, at, at the Worm's Head Hotel, where, where the whole book is based on. So that's actually will be quite a lot of fun and, and very, very different for us. Um, but I would like to thank all the sponsors who sponsor every single concert. They make this possible that we, we can keep prices as low as possible and make tickets accessible to everybody, not just in this area, but from, from all over the UK. But without the sponsorship, we, we couldn't have the quality of artists we do. The Gower Festival runs from July the 1st to the 13th. Part of the uniqueness of the festival are the venues. Some are relatively quite small. So early booking is recommended to make sure you get your tickets and you can actually choose online where you want to sit in the various churches. And our website is gowerfestival.org.